Welcome to 20 Chance Fields Radford Semley. It's a beautifully presented and recently finished five bedroom detached property set in the popular Radford Semley just outside Leamington Spa. The property briefly comprises an entrance hall, large open plan dining kitchen, large living room, five bedrooms and two en suites, family bathroom, integrated garage and large rear garden. Let's take a look inside. So um, first things first, coming into the hallway, I mentioned that uh, there's under floor heating throughout the ground, ground floor, but as you can see, really beautifully, beautifully presented throughout, <clears throat> with lovely gallery landing and vaulted ceiling. Have a look up here. So very, very nicely done. Let's make our way through. So first of all, into the open plan, rather nice kitchen dining area. Again, it's a really fantastic size and just, you know, really, really nicely finished indeed. So kitchen island here, all integrated with NEF appliances. So you have an induction hob, you have two dishwashers, fridge freezer, <clears throat> have two integrated electric NEF ovens. They slide and hide and have warm drawers underneath so the, the, the doors fold down and slide in for space saving. You have an inset porcelain one and a half sink unit and a brass monoblock tap over with a hot water or boiling water option as well. You have breakfast bar, lots and lots of storage of course. And then open plan with a really large dining space. Here the table set up for eight people but it easily can fit 10 or 12 people in this space here. And you've got the uh, bifold out onto the rear garden, which is uh, again rather nice. So, furthermore, <clears throat> you have here a, another unit with wall and base units and work surfaces, actually a, a bar area, which is, which is a nice touch. And through to the opening into the living room. <clears throat> again, really, really nice and generous space. It's a really, really good size. And over here you'll notice there is a log burning stove it's actually inset built into the wall there so really modern and nice feature the door here through to the entrance hall again so it's actually it's actually an l-shaped living room so this extended previously so at the moment you've got a Grand piano, so it shows the space you have here, but ultimately it could be a, a snug for reading or playroom or, you know, versatile space. And again, you could actually have doors, a stud wall or glass doors reinstated to the, the wall here, section here to make it a completely separate space. Also, you've got um, doors out onto the rear patio there as well. So again, you know, re really versatile space throughout actually. It's a, uh, yeah, cracking. Okay, let's go through again to here. So through to the utility area. Take another look at the kitchen again. So utility, <laughs> again, car carrying on with the same units, wall and base um, and the marble effect solid work top over. Um, inset stainless steel sink now with more got top over again. And this is the space for washing machine plumbing and also they have the Tumble dryer here as well, and door out onto the garden and patio area. It's an integrated garage. The doors through here. Um, I won't go in there, but it's lighting. The boiler's in there, and also you have electric roller shutter doors as well. So, okay, let's go to the first floor. I'll just quickly show you the downstairs toilet as well which I haven't done yet. So there we are, also with a nice vanity unit. So up to the first floor of bedrooms. <clears throat> As you can see then, so nice solid wood, I believe oak banisters with glass balustrade, but you know, cracking feature this. Really, really lovely. It's in the vaulted ceiling. Really, really special space. If 
But let's start with the bedrooms up here. This isn't the, the main bedroom, but it's still a really fantastic size. So five double bedrooms. You see it's sport for choice, really. And immaculately, immaculately presented throughout as well. And through to bedroom two, essentially, as it has an ensuite as well. Again, good size double. Through to the ensuite shower room. Again, it's a well thought out space saving, but still very functional and nicely done. Shower cubicle at the end there. Now through to bedroom one. <clears throat> so a really good size. Almost two areas here, so you could class this as the dressing area. You could fit wardrobes, freestanding or built-in wardrobes even here with mirrors potentially. But again, a large space here for the bed and also rather nice aspect onto the garden through the large doors and the uh, judo balcony here. The garden southwestly facing, so a real sun trough apparently. Through to the ensuite, so we've got twin sinks there. Again, vanity unit for storage, so really well thought out. And you've got a quite a large shower, or very large shower, with dual shower heads, including a rainfall shower head up there. So again, really very nicely done. Let's look at the family bathroom now. So this reminds me of staying in a very plush hotel. But there we go. So um, marble effect tiling, which is really, really lovely. Freestanding bath and also another large walk-in shower cubicle with twin or dual shower heads and a rainfall shower up there as well. Also another sink vanity unit storage. There we go. Through to the last two bedrooms. Also here, there's a space which is, uh, it's big enough for a single room really. Um, they left it open, the current vendors, as it's a versatile space for, it could be reading or whatever you want really, but ultimately could make really good office space if you needed. So ample space there for a desk and a chair, um, even say, you could erect another wall there to make it a completely separate space. So this is bedroom five, currently used as a study, but again, it's a double room. And last bedroom here as well. Another really generous double bedroom. And that's it inside, folks. So um, we will have a look outside next. Just pop my shoes on, excuse me. So go out through the bifold doors at the back, lead straight out onto the large patio area. It's a really lovely space, great for entertaining. Back here. Also have here <clears throat> an outside barbecue area. So again, fantastic for entertaining, really, really lovely space actually. Great for summer, having your friends and family around. 
And up onto the lawn, so main later lawn, you have mature trees, shrubs and beds surrounding. You're not overlooked, apart from obviously neighbouring properties a little bit, but ultimately, you know, it's, uh, it's very private, which is great. There we are folks, number 20 Chance Fields, Redford Seminary, called Peter Clark's Arrange of Viewing.